Caddis Maximus here. These are a ridiculous thing. I can't believe I found an old set that's new in the package. Shrink wrap. I think these were real common in like the 80s. Even UL listed. Patented in USA. Not made in the USA. It's a company out of Boca Raton, Florida. The patent was actually in the 60s. What these are is light bulb diodes for incandescent lights. And that's a... <laughs> Why change another bulb? Button that something your light makes it up to last up to 10 times longer eight full year warranty increase the wattage of the bulb and then they actually have a chart showing how much it reduces the wattage i don't know what the little rubber ring is for but these green things are the actual diodes let's get some of these out of here peel that off and that's exactly what they are. They even have a built-in little uh, insulator here. I'm not as sure why they come with this, but it does say in the instructions to peel this off. Oh, I see. It's sticky. So it's supposed to kind of stick to the bottom of the bulb. We can see one terminal there and another terminal there, 80 and 5. They actually do have the UL listed, and that's all they are is they're diodes. Since it's alternating current and it goes like this, we have the... Uh, neutral or the zero and it goes up and down up and down all diode does is just cut it off so it's just a series of humps a hump and then a space and then a hump and then a space effectively cutting the power in half we can even show that here get a little diode test going uh, where is it here's our little diode test see if we can't get that in the frame I'll we'll just have to hold that like that maybe I have the polarity backwards here it's interesting that they have stick them to stick to the bottom of the bulb I guess that's just to make sure there we go half full of breakover voltage for the diode and that's all it is and so if we uh, actually take a look here once again, this is just a weird rubber ring. I have no, maybe it's just to prevent um, moisture or something from getting in the light socket so that these little diodes will last longer. Anyway, I'm going to actually leave these lights on just because my camera should adjust to it better. That's a 100 watt bulb. I can leave it on for very long. It gets hot fast. So the idea behind these is that they're simply cutting the wattage in half, extending the life of your bulb, and then they tell you to double the... Uh, the wattage of your bulb and so what ends up happening is since it's an incandescent you know you put the little rubber ring on like this but since it's an incandescent yeah that must be the case it it must be the case that they're just sticky so that it's easier to get them installed anyway i don't even know if the socket will use them one of the issues is of course they stand off in the bottom of the bulb many sockets like this the little side terminal just doesn't extend up very far and the light bulb may not even make contact with it and that may be the case here so the idea is is that it makes the uh actually that ring actually seals in the socket pretty good so we're going to get that in there pretty tight it does work and we can see that this is a bit more orange and definitely a bit dimmer and that's how they extend the life of your bulb for so long is the simple fact that you're taking a bulb and running and half rating it making it run at half the uh, power that it was designed for, resulting in a lower color temperature. It's probably going from 2700K to 2500K, uh, all the way down to like 2200K. So you get a little bit yellower of a light, which some people may like. It's one of the ways that you can adjust the color temperature. But then you're taking a, f then the light bulb is essentially overrated. You have a filament, like in this case, a 100 watt bulb. I think that's a 100 watt, it's a 100 watt Sylvania. You have a 100 watt filament that now you're running at effectively 50 watts. And so since the filament's a little bit extra th thick for a 50 watt low or uh, output, it allows the filament to last a really long time. Now, if we connect this again, we can obviously see how much brighter it is. And it's a bit wider. We'll go back again to our little diode. We don't need to use that rubber ring I haven't I think it's once again just to help 
prevent corrosion of the contacts. There's our diode and we can see it's much yellower and a whole heck of a lot dimmer. So to say it was a gimmick, you know, they're, they were if effectively pointless because you're just half rating your bulbs and I'm not so sure, you know, maybe they did add a lot of extra life. Unfortunately, nowadays, everything's going to LED and compact fluorescence, and you can't run diodes with those. They won't run at all, or they'll flicker really badly, and you'll end up ruining them. So these things are kind of obsolete, but if you like a nice reading light and can't have find one that's really more of a color of, like, the setting sun, you can still find these online. They're still made by, you know, cheesy manufacturers, and uh, it may be an available option is to get some of these light bulb diodes. And if you're, uh, you know, really into it, trying to get this on perfectly, maybe you can find some of the more popular ones, like the button. Interestingly enough, that is a big array of light bulbs. It would certainly suck to have to install those. Maybe that's the point of the ad. If you got that many bulbs to change, you would want to put diodes in there. Anyway... I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.